fall, aka trophy muskie season. The biggest fish, the shortest windows, nothing is more important than choosing the right lure. Struggling? Well you're in the right place. Stick around and I'm going to run through my top 5 fall muskie lures that just might catch you your next trophy. The other day I was watching canalgratis.de, the Germany channel, and Severin did a very, very, very cool video where he went over five tips for fishing pressured water. And that kind of got me thinking, well, what are five things that I can pass on to you guys? So I'm going to follow in his footsteps and we're actually going to talk about my five essential musky lures for the fall season. Muskies are tough. They are the fish of 10,000 casts and fall is your trophy time. And it's a tough period of time to fish and it can be a, a, a challenge. And so in today's video, I'm gonna run through my absolute favorite top five picks for musky lures that are hopefully gonna catch you guys more fish. So as we run through these five baits, each one I'm gonna talk about why they're my favorite, why I chose them, and then I'm gonna run through basically how I perform the lure action in the fall because Fall is a, is a period of change, you know, the water's cooling down, weeds are dying, the leaves on the trees are changing, and just like all of the change happening within the environment, we have to change our technique, we have to change our approach. And the biggest thing that I'm going to stress throughout the entire video is just slowing down your bait retrieval speed. In summer it's all about speed, in fall it's all about slowing down and uh, just being in the moment, because if you're not in the moment, you're going to miss that opportunity at potentially a monster. So as you can see, I'm sort of surrounded by baits and I'm just gonna grab them and we're gonna run with them as we go here. So the first one that I chose to put on this list is one that is, is a very easy bait to fish. This one is very self-explanatory. It does a lot of things extremely well. And uh, one of those being the large profile, I'm choosing a large paddle tail swim bait. So there's so many different kinds of these on the market so my suggestion is to pick one that you feel confident in pick one you feel good about and stick with it so like i mentioned this is a very very easy bait to fish and and it's all about just the straight retrieval you know in summer when i'm fishing these i like to you know do little change ups little pull pauses and stuff like that but as that water cools down and we run into that fall period i am all about a slow and steady retrieve so my ideal setup for fishing one of these swim baits is going to be basically the same exact setup that I use for my bucktail fishing and that's a nine foot heavy rod with a slow speed reel. So this is a Daiwa Pro Rex and a 5.3 to 1. It gives you the ability to slow down your retrieve and really just get that boot tail just kicking in the water at a nice steady pace. So it's a very self-explanatory retrieve. Anybody can fish this bait. If you have a newcomer in the boat, this is a great option for them. So if I throw this out there, and it hits the water, I'm basically just gonna immediately start cranking and just keep a slow, steady pace. And you're gonna feel that boot tail really kicking in the water. These Poseidon 12s have a really great action. They put out a lot of thump. And all I'm doing is keeping that at a slow and steady speed. Like I said, this is a 5.3 gear ratio reel. So the retrieve is already slow. So you're gonna notice that that Poseidon gets way down there. And then I just go into my figure eight and I keep that slow and steady pace. That's the biggest thing that I'm gonna keep mentioning with these big baits is keeping a slow and steady retrieve. So out of out of all the baits that I have on my list, this is probably the easiest one that you can fish. Maybe if you have somebody who, like a friend who, who doesn't musky fish that often or, or somebody who's just inexperienced, hand them one of these. It's a, it's a great tool to find fish. It's very easy to fish. You can cover a lot of water if you're fishing solo. There's just a lot of great applications that you can throw this bait in. So continuing on with, with baits that are, are, are somewhat easy to fish, the first two that I decided to put on my top five are baits that really anybody can throw effectively. They don't require a, a super amount of, of know-how to fish. So the next one that I threw on here is one that uh, I, I have you know done pretty well on, and this can seem like a very intimidating bait to throw at first, but trust me, when you get into that cold water season, this is a very effective tool to cover water, find fish. It's a great solo bait if you're out there alone and you're just trying to find some fish. This is a great option for you, but I chose to put on big bucktails. So like the swim baits, there are so many, so many, so many different models uh, of, of bucktails on the market, but I would say my probably my top choice in, in, in the fall season is probably a supermodel. This is a giant bucktail. This is one of the biggest bucktails on the market. It has twin double 12 or 13 blades. These things are just enormous. And just like this swim bait, we're really slowing down this retrieve. You're getting that bait down there and just really slow rolling it so those blades are barely spinning. My favorite time and place to fish big blades on in the fall season 
is when those weeds are starting to die off, if you can find remaining green weeds that are still holding fish, this is a great option to fish those weeds with. You slow roll them right over the weed beds, odds are you're gonna move fish. And I know I keep mentioning, you know, again and again, the, the slow retrieval speed, but this bait fishes the exact same as, as a big swim bait. So I'm running the same setup, heavy rod, a slower speed reel because these blades really have, you know, an enormous pull to them. They're really hard on the wrists. And if I throw that out there, you are gonna feel these blades working immediately. So they are pretty tough to throw out there, but I'm just keeping that very, very slow, steady retrieve. And that's gonna get the bucktail down deeper over those weeds that you're gonna be fishing. And like I said, this thing pushes an enormous amount of water. I mean, just look at this thing. This puts out so much vibration in the water. It is such a great surge bait. And in my opinion, I think it's very overlooked in that late fall period. So, so now we're kind of getting into my personal top three. These are probably the three baits that produce the most action and the most success for me. And this first one on the list here is probably the most iconic late fall musky lure. Uh, and that is a big rubber pull pause bait. Like all musky baits and, and, and like the baits that I've already talked about, there are so many different makes and models of the same type of lure on the market. This is a pounder by Musky Innovations. Of course, you have the Medusa. But beyond that, I mean, there is a plethora of so many different pull pause rubber baits. So my suggestion to you is to find one that you think you're confident in, that you think is going to catch a fish because above all else, confidence is key in musky fishing. If you are not confident with the baits you're throwing, it's just not gonna work out in your favor. You'll be surprised that just a little bit of confidence can go a long way in the amount of success you have on fishing. So out of all the pull pause baits on the market, I chose the pounder just because I feel the best about throwing this bait and at the end of the day confidence is key in musky fishing so use baits you're confident in. Now there's a little bit of a learning curve with fishing these baits so I'm going to run through how I basically work these baits in the late fall. They require a little bit more work, a little more effort to fish them properly but once you get the rhythm of it they can be extremely effective. So as far as setups go this is really when you want to have you know your technique specific rod. So I'm running a double extra heavy rod at all times throwing these big rubber baits and as far as a reel goes I like to go with something that's got some higher speed to it because you're pull pausing you want to pick up that slack and you want to keep a constant tension with your lure. You don't want to straight reel the bait but when you're pull pausing it oftentimes those fish are going to hit in the pause. So having a high speed reel that can keep tension while you're picking up that slack is an extremely important factor in picking up on those slack line bites. I'm throwing this out there and as soon as it hits the water, I'm engaging the reel and I'm just doing light pulls. And I'm, like I said, when I reel in on those pulls, I'm keeping constant tension. You can see that I'm not giving myself a bunch of slack and then picking it up and getting back to the bait. When I pull, I'm keeping that tension. You see how my line is straight out there towards the bottom of the lake? That's extremely important because now that my line is tight, I'm gonna be able to feel those bites. So if I'm pulling and a fish eats in that slack line retrieval, I can set the hook. And I'm not, you know, guessing that, oh, maybe a fish just ate and now I'm like in panic mode because I couldn't feel it. So when you're casting your baits out there, the biggest thing upon doing those full pauses is again, just keeping the tension on your line while you're pulling. I'm not reeling in the baits. I don't have any bait resistance, but I'm almost just keeping that bait still out there and I'm just catching up that line. So I like to follow the line with my rod tip towards the bait because that's keeping that constant tension. I'm gonna be able to feel those bites and I'm not gonna miss out on any big bites. So now we're in the home stretch. We're in my top two fall musky lures and the two I'm going to talk about have great reason to be on my top two. And this first one I'm going to start off with is a little outlandish. This is one that I was turned on to last year by my friend Alex. But Bondi Royal Arbor comes in three sizes. You have the Junior, you have the Regular, and you have the King Daddy, which is this one here. You're going to notice a couple of key things on this bait. The first thing being how aerodynamic this bait is. So this bait can drive straight down. So if you're one of those guys who wants to try vertical jigging or does vertical jig, this is a great option. You're able to vertical jig this bait. It's got a big curly tail, so this can function like a bulldog by pull pausing it. But perhaps the biggest thing that sets this bait apart among all the other rubber baits on the market are the twin double six blades on the three-way swivel on the back. The most effective thing about this bait is these blades because now this throws in the blade factor into a rubber bait, which is something that is few and far between in the musky world. Personally, I'm straight reeling these. I love to straight reel them. The first cast I ever took with this bait in particular, I caught a muskie on it. The very next day, the first spot I fished with it, I caught one of my heaviest Metro muskies to date. So 
This bait has proven itself to me. Very, very, very easy to pull off. This is another one of those baits that you can hand to perhaps a client if you're a guide or you know a friend who isn't super, super experienced with musky fishing. So you're gonna throw that sucker out there and you're gonna feel those blades going to work immediately. Again, I'm using that 5.3, that slower speed reel to do these retrievals on this bait. And uh, very simple, very straightforward, a straight reel retrieve. And you can see those blades and the twister going to work on there. Very easy to figure eight. So the combination of the moving rubber tail and those blades always spinning on this bait is just an extremely effective bait. There's really no wrong way you can work this bait, which is why it's one of my favorites. So you've made it to, to the end and it's time to talk about my all time favorite fall musky fishing lure. And to those who might know me personally or know me from my old YouTube channel, this is not going to be a surprise to you. It's a Cannonball Junior. I have caught so many fish on, on topwater baits. It's on my list for a good reason. Topwater fishing is not only very exciting, it's not only one of the coolest ways to catch a muskie, but in my opinion, this is one of the most effective ways to catch muskies in the fall season. When that water starts to cool down, these fish go absolutely crazy for top waters, and it's, it's a simple bait to fish. Again, you know, the one great thing about all most of these baits is you can run one setup for a lot of these baits. And, and in my opinion, you know, the most ideal setup for this late fall period is a heavier, extra heavy casting rod with a slower speed reel. It's going to fish a lot of these baits equally well, except for the pull pause baits. And as far as retrieval goes, I mean, as long as this blade is spinning, that's really all that's going to matter. But I do really like to slow down my retrieve just so you're barely getting that noise out of the prop. You know, if I'm throwing this out there, I just want that prop to be spinning and producing noise. That's really all that matters at the end of the day. So, you know, I'm keeping that about that same retrieval speed as uh, some of these other baits I've talked about, like the Orbud, Swim Bait, and the Bucktail. A super, super easy bait to manage. You know, all you're really doing in figure eight is an L turn because nine times out of 10, that fish is gonna eat, eat somewhere between the end of the L turn and where your lure started in the cast. So yes, this is my all-time favorite fall musky fishing lure. I know maybe to some it sounds a little daunting to throw a top water in the fall, especially when you get into that late fall period, but it does work. As we jump into the fall season here, I wish you all the best of luck, and I hope you guys catch a giant fish. If there are any other tip videos, lure videos, or gear videos on musky fishing you would like me to talk about, feel free to leave them down below, and I will jump on them because, you know, I'm going to have a long winter here, and I love musky fishing. I love helping other people, so leave me things down below that I can help you guys out with. I'll see you next week and thank you for watching.